Welcome back to Gray is Gorgeous. If you're new to this channel and you just found me, I am so glad you're here. Stick around, we're putting on today and we're gonna see how it performs. I ran out of my bare minerals once again and so I thought I would give this talc-free option a shot. Let's get started. Okay, so I have my brows on already and we use the Yawa brow pencil. I actually used two today. I used the um, Stila in medium for this part and then the rest of it I used the pencil uh, <clears throat> in Cool Blonde. And the reason I love this pencil is because it's waxy and when you don't have hair, uh, brow hair, I, I feel like the wax helps to fill in and give it texture. Although I really love the pen and the performance of the pen on the brows because it gives you that tattooed effect. It seems to stay on longer, it doesn't smear. But the fact that it's kind of an inky, inky situation which goes on very flat, it can give your brows um, a lack of dimension, if you will. And so that's where I love the waxier pencil because the wax actually kind of makes you, gives you some more texture. I feel it looks a little bit more natural um, than the pen, but the pen is great for just filling in sparse areas where you're missing a few hairs. All right, so we're gonna try this Physician's Formula Mineral Wear and that's why I wanted to do this video. It's talc-free airbrushing pressed powder. It has an SPF of 30. This is translucent. It's extra uh, for extra sensitive or breakout prone skin. And let me read you this also side panel. It may be important to you. It, it's hy hyper, uh, hypo, I'm sorry, I give that to you again. It's hypoallergenic fragrance-free, gluten-free, paraben-free, dermatologist-tested, and clinically tested, and vegan. So there you go, and the SPF is the titanium dioxide, and it, I'm gonna repeat that, it's talc-free, so if you're looking for talc-free products, because that's very hard to find in powdered makeup, as you know, this is an ultra fine mineral powder that delivers impeccable coverage for a flawless, does it say 16 hour? Hold on, let me get that closer. 16 hour airbrushed finish. It visibly, visibly reduces the appearance of fine lines, wrinkles, pores, and sun damage. It has a lifting and affirming effect and by the Skin Cancer Association, so. Wow, okay. They've really told us a lot there. All right, so let me go ahead. We'll just do a get ready with me and we'll put some eyeshadow on. And I am using the LA Colors uh, 12 pan palette in Chic and this is um, you can get this at the Dollar Tree. Beautiful, beautiful palette. Um, I love all the colors in here, and they're not very shimmery. They're mostly all flat, matte, flat, matte. Wow. Okay, I'm having a hard time today with the words. That's okay. It happens. All right. Ay -ay -ay. Right. All right, what are we gonna use, what are we gonna, oh. Okay, let's use our BH Mall brush set. These here. I will put them down in my description box below along with all the makeup that I select. Um, and, oh, I'm gonna go in with, hmm, what color do I want to use? I'm gonna go in with this one here, kind of like a mauvey, pinky, dusty pink. And I've already prepped my um, eyelids, by the way, so if you use primer, you wanna use primer before the step, um, eyeshadow primer. 
I go ahead and prep, as you know, if you follow me on my channel, with the Maybelline Fit Me. And this is 10. And then I put a little powder on to set it. So I'm going to go rocker arm with this color. And this palette doesn't have a lot of dust off, so let me move my hair out of the way here. There we go. Much better. Mucho better. Okay, so this is a really nice crease color. You know who I think would look good using this palette is Patty, Rockstar Mom. Good palette. This would be a great palette for her. Notice that she likes the purples and plum, plum colors look awesome on her. All right, and then we're going to go with this deep, beautiful maroon color here. And I'm going to apply that with a placement brush because I want to place it just where I want it and nowhere else. So I'm going to go in there with that one, tap it off and just place it in here, camouflage that um, what am I trying to say? What do I want to say today? It'll come to me. I'm waiting. Still waiting. I'm like an old computer sometimes. <laughs> you know, the kind that take a while to log on. The sounds <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> That's how it is some days for me. <laughs> Still waiting. <laughs> the hooded eyelid. There we go. Fair enough. Oh, I hope my eyebrows aren't uneven on camera. If my eyebrows are not even. Sorry, you have to look at that. Um, sometimes that happens. All right, and then I'm going to use this one as the highlighter. This is a nice little peach color. And da, 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 da. You know, I'm going to use the same flathead placement brush. I'm just going to dust it off on a towel here. Just go in there. I'm just going to place that just up underneath my brow a little bit. And then just highlight it right here. And where you where your placement is of your light and dark colors has everything to do with the shape of your eyes and the real estate of your lids, how much you have there. So if you have a lot of lid space from your lash line to your crease and you want to reduce the size of that, then just go ahead and put the dark color over the entirety there. But I have moderate, and so I like to highlight this area a little bit and it just kind of makes it pop for me. All right. And then I'm going to go back in with this dark color and I'm going to use that as a liner because I'm really liking shadow as liner. I know I've said this before. You want to tap it so it doesn't go all over the place. Um, I think it looks more natural and I think as we age, I think it's a lot less harsh than a pencil and it kind of blends and you can use whatever color you're using on your um, that you're using of eyeshadow on your lids to to use it as liner so you always have the right color that goes with whatever you're doing which is also great and another great thing about it is is it's free it's free liner you don't have to pay 10 15 20 dollars for a liner all right 
So is that done. Now we're going to go in with that physician's formula. And it comes with a little brush, which I already threw in the trash because it's a ridiculous brush. It, it, it's, you, I wouldn't apply it with the brush that it comes with, but you know, it does have a button here. That's a bit tricky, by the way. I don't know whether you're pushing or pulling, but the bottom drops out. There's a, um, a brush that sits in here and a mirror, but I won't be using either of those, so I'm going to be using my ball, my ball, my ball, my BS Mall brush set. I'm using this one here. It's kind of got a slant on it. It's great for foundation. It's, it's kind of a packing brush, and I'm just going to go into it like this. Now, all I have on my face is lotion, um, so you want to go ahead and put your lotion on and your sunscreen and all that. And then um, uh, this has 30 SPF in it. So, and notice how this just covers, this is just a light coverage of powder. That's all this is. And it just evens out your skin tone and the minerals are all great for your skin. And if you notice this side versus this side, see it just kind of, um, not heavy coverage. I like applying it with the brush best. You can swirl if you want or just brush it on. I find that this powder goes on. I've worn it um, how many days? Four or five days in a row and I think that it's really good. Really good. So see the difference between this side and this side? Yes, you see age spots there just kind of, you know, blurs them. It's got a nice blurring effect and it's true what it says about the pores. I have large pores here. I don't know if you can see that. And it blurs them a little bit. So it's just going to give you a super duper light natural coverage. Now, if you like a thicker coverage, then you can apply it with the cotton pad like that. You can get these at Walgreens and put it on. And it'll give you a lot thicker coverage if you do it with the pad. I'm doing just a really thin, thin layer here. And it just is beautiful. Look at it. It just kind of blurs, but it's not over the top. It's not going to get cakey and bakey and it's not going to go into my fine lines and wrinkles and my natural skin's moisture is going to just blend in with it and throughout the day it's going to look really super duper natural which is what I like. So, And this is the translucent. translucent. Um, I don't think it's that translucent. I'll just tell you that up front. I do believe it has quite a bit of pigment actually. So. Um, it looks kind of white on my skin. You can see my neck, um, the color match there. So I think I'd probably want to go with a different color next time, but this is what they had. So and that's it. So just nice and simple like that. And I'm going to go ahead and go with my blush. Today I'm going with the CoverGirl. And this is the Soft Mink. I love, love, love this color. It is a beaut. It's got some shimmer in it. I'm going to put a little bit. It's so pretty. This is a winner in my book every time. So fair hair, fair skinned, fair hair, <laughs> fair skin sisters out there. This is a great one. It's off me. Really, really like it. It's kind of a peachy. It's a peachy pink. Um, not too peachy, not too pink. It's kind of sits somewhere in the middle there. All right, good. And then we're going to finish off with some mascara. I'm still using up the um, L'Oreal Volume Air, which actually gets less clumpy the longer you have it. I like the clump. I like big, bold lashes, but um, it's got quite a sizable brush and it's not plastic um, and it there's a little bit of an odor with this one 
Um, it smells a little bit alcoholy. Just FYI. But it thickens and lengthens. So if you want both of those things to occur, then this is a great one. We'll end off there. Here's the coverage. It's pretty good. Still see my age spots a little bit through, and you can definitely touch up those with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer if you'd like before putting on the powder. Um, but I like to let a little bit of my spots through. I just feel like it looks natural. I don't necessarily want, you know, to put so much cosmetics on that, you know, my skin is just heaped up and it's, you know, I like a little bit of the natural look. It's natural, you know. Um, my face is not a canvas. <laughs> So my face is my skin, it's my face. So letting a little bit shine through is okay. A few freckles, so forth and so on, is just fine. Thank you so much for watching. Click subscribe if you'd like to see more of my videos. Click like if you like the content of this video. And I hope to see you soon. All right, bye for now.